What's up vlog? July the 23rd. Uh, I'm out here in my garage. Here in my garage. Uh, I'm clearing out some space because I'm trying to fit a new car. I don't know if you guys can guess, but something's coming in tomorrow and I'm super excited. It's a classic 60s car, well known, and I'm hyped. It's gonna be my first ever project car. And that's coming in. But first, I gotta clear out the garage, clear out the space, put it in the corner of the driveway because it's not gonna be moving for a while. But look, this is what I have to work with right now. This is what I gotta move. It's gonna be over there in the corner, around here, and I'm gonna work with that a little space and see what I can do. See, and I'll probably show it tomorrow when it arrives. All right, now, see you in a bit. Today is July the 24th. I'm just coming back home from work and I'm excited. The car just came in and I don't know if you can guess, but I'm so excited. It's been my dream car since I was a kid. Always wanted one. Even though it's a project, I can see the potential in it. There's so much to, I just want to go through and look it over one more time. I saw it already when I bought it. It was a high. It was a high. It was a high. But, like I said, it's a project, and I'm super excited to get my hands on that. Start working on it as soon as possible, so I got my auto body guy, his opinion on it, see what he recommends, and then I'm gonna start from there. So, me. In the meantime, I have to keep looking for parts throughout this whole process. I, if everything goes well. I'm hoping eight to ten months. It all depends on how far I want to go. If I want to retrofit the, I don't even make it a retro mod and put modern parts, we want to keep it as is. I'm leaning towards moving it up, upgrading it to a newer engine, some newer tech specs inside, better materials than what it was back in the day it was produced. All right, enough talking. Hopefully, I'm gonna cut to the to the car so put your guesses in the comments or just you know throw a like in there but yeah i'm excited i hope you guys enjoy we're here at the garage and it's in the parking lot right now right now it's right here anyone last guesses to what it is now's your chance okay you got three seconds three two one here it is there it is. There it is. It's a 1969 Ford Mustang Fastback. As you can see, it's rusted a lot of places. I started looking inside. So got some liners that were just on the floor. So we can take a look. Let's take a look at the rear. Ah, can't get a good angle of it. No. I can't tell if you can see that, but the classic three lights, rear tail lights. They're protruding outward individually. And while I was inside, I had to look for this little key. Uh, this is uh, I looked for the lock because this was obviously loose. The previous owner had left it inside, inside the trunk. So I had to open the headliner for the rear. Open the little. I don't know what that was, cardboard thing that's holding that, blocking that. I have to stick my hand in there. Find this lock. And then I open it here. See if it opens. 
There it goes. Yep. This is the trunk. It's actually surprisingly roomy. Previous owner said he had started working on it, but he never got around to it. I think I feel like a good piece of luggage in here. Maybe two small ones, two carry-ons. I don't know how deep this is supposed to go. Because there's a lot of junk in there, but I gotta take a look. Some trim pieces, some bumper pieces. This is a little bit of aluminum. A little bumper trim. Ford. Nice. A lot of miscellaneous things. A lot of bolts. Nuts. But yeah. Originally, this car was supposed to be champagne gold. So this is actually the original paint or whatever's left of it. This is it. Oh, this is the vintage air duct. It's just plastic. It's not, it's not functional, but I love the look. Let's take a look inside since we're here. I started looking around. It's been outside for a few years. As you can see, all leaves, plastic, decaying. Like I said, I took out the, head, the rear liner so I can get to the back. Try to see if I can open from the back. I couldn't figure out how to open this. I opened the rear, rear seats. But yeah, this is it. Let's take a look. These are the old gauges. Let's see if I can clean up the lens a little bit. Okay, so this is it. What did we have on the right, left? Real accelerometer. Alternator, sorry. All right. Bills don't hit man. Can I see in? And then we have the. What do you call the? Oh wow, I'm blanking on what it's called. Speedometer, speedometer, and the odometer. Fifty-eight thousand miles. That's not that bad. But let's yeah, the registration stat it says that too. So I'm cool. Then we got the fuel gauge and the temperature. What's the bottom? The oil pressure. We got low to high. And look at this. Look at this. The ignition. Oh, here. There you go. Ignition. Key. It's in the bag. In the trunk. And the lights. This is how you turn on the lights. Pull. Wow. I guess I did this the wrong way. I guess you just pump it in. Push. Oh, there's the wipers. Push it, I guess. Wiper washer. And it does its thing. A twist? I'm not sure. I'm learning as I go. These are the lights. I guess this one we just push in. Push in the lights. Pull it out, it's off. This is also a stick shift. This is the V. This isn't even the V6. It's the uh, inline six. And it has the stick shift. I'm glad I know stick just because of this. Sorry, my hands are a little rough. Touching this car. All the places. Let's see. Easy. Got reverse, got first, second, and third, and that's it, folks. Third gear is as far as it goes. How much is the how, what was max speed? 120 miles per hour? Dang. Inline six. I can just imagine the motor just overheating, going close to that max. Anyway, let's keep looking. Now right, let's go. Is that a radio? Philco radio. I had never heard of that. Part. It's loose. Of course. This is, I don't know what that is, but it turned on. No, it's on. Wow. Classic, classic looking. And here we go. We have a fan. Looks like it had AC. It's cool, hot, temperature, warm. And defrost. Hey, it's a thing. I hope to goodness this had AC. I probably didn't because it would have been here. I'm learning as I go about this. But this is, um, this car. I bought this car off of a Mustang Restore. Yikes. Uh, he had like 20 other Mustangs in his garage, fam. It's crazy. He actually made a career out of doing this. But he has like, he has the real Mustangs. The 1966, 65, 67, and 68. And they're in decent condition. They're they're definitely better than this. This is it's pretty much garbage right now. Literally. But there's potential here. There's a ton of potential here. Look at that. It's all blank. 